Hi guys, this is Lauren from Fast Office Computer Training here with another video to help you learn Excel. In this video we are going to learn how to use the formula payment. This is actually a way of teaching you how to use formulas or functions, I should say, uh, more precisely um, in Excel. Right? So I'm going to use payment for that purpose and here I go with that. Ta-da! All right, so when you create a formula, one of the first things you need to do is, is just know what you're trying to create and, and just guess, you can safely guess that Excel has a formula for what you're trying to do. Um, what here is the, uh, what we're trying to do right now is a, a financial function. And I'm gonna look through here for something that looks like it would be payment, PMT. Oh, there, there's something. Um, calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant instant rate, interest rate. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. It opens up the function arguments. Now I can type this in as uh, text. Um, so I can just type it in here, 10%. That's my annual interest rate. And I'm going to do this over three years. Now if I wanted to make payments per month, I, I would monthly payments, I would have to divide that by 12 and multiply the three, multiply the three with, and, and the asterisk is the multiplication sign by 12. So now we have 36 and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0083333, etc. as the monthly interest rate. Present value is the amount of the loan. Um, okay. Future value is is um, optional. We don't need to put it in there. You can tell it's optional because it's not bolded like the op the required cells. So I'm going to just put zero. Um, by default, that's what it's going to be anyways. But I'm putting it, um, the future value there because I want to move to type. And um, this is something that's interesting. Just a little bit of um, a tidbit of uh, advice. If you make the payment at the beginning of the or the end of the period, or it's it's the end of the period if it's omitted, um, that's what most loans are based on. But if I make a payment at the beginning of each month instead of the end of the month um, or the period, um, it's I'm, I'm paying less for that loan. Not not a lot less, but it's um, it is a little bit less. And here I go. So the formula result is negative. 160. And I know it's negative because it's in brackets. If I wanted the the result to show positive, I would show the loan amount or the present value as negative. Okay. So click OK, and my payments are $160 per month. Now, obviously, we're not going to um, zoom in going to enter the um, the amounts like this. Um, I could have just typed that in, but I'm not going to enter 10% um, all of this stuff into a, a cell. I'm going to reference cells for this. So I'm going to just delete that and I'm going to put the amounts here. So the loan amount is 5,000. Okay, actually I'm going to put a, a dollar sign. Okay. Um, the annual interest rate is 10%. I'm just using 10% to make it easier to to uh, view the um, view the results. Length of the loan is three years. Okay. Value at the end of the loan is going to be zero. We're going to pay at the beginning of the period, um, and then uh, there we go. Um, and I just need to know that that's the beginning. Now I can set up my formula to make that automatic, but that's a little bit more advanced, and I'll get into that later. So my payment now is I can now I know that it's called payment. I'm going to type in equals PMT, and it gives me the little help that I need for this. And now um, this little drop down, this little area around here, um, kind of tells me what I can, you know, the parameters I need to put in. 
Um, but a nice thing about this is I can move it over to the side. Just look for this little um, four arrow cursor and you can just move it if you need it in a different location. So the payment is, um, uh, sorry, payment, the rate is this field. So I, I can just click on it or I could have typed C4. Um, the number of periods is three. And present value is the loan amount. So I'm going to put a comma loan amount. And as I enter commas, I'm going into the next parameter for this loan, for this function. Okay. So the amount is going to be that at the end of the loan. And then the type is going to be this. Okay. I close the parenthesis and press enter. Okay. And that's, uh, so what is that? Well, that's, uh, the annual payment. If I was paying per one, one making one payment per year, that's what I would have to pay because notice we didn't put divided by 12 and multiply by 12. So if I wanted to do it per month, I would do this divide by 12 and I multiply this by 12. Okay. And that's my monthly payments. Now, what did I do to make this loan amount, um, the payment look positive? Okay. If I converted this to a negative, the payment amount would be positive. Okay. So it depends on how you want to display that. So let's just review that again. Um, if I go up here, I see this little help. I can click on each of these parameters to see what I'm referring to here. And notice we have the color coding. The rate is blue, which is this. The number of periods is the C5, which is this. Present value is the um, that purple. And future value is the green, and the type is the darker purple or the different purple. Yeah. All right. Um, so that's that's how you read a formula. Um, you look at the parameters. What parameter am I looking at now? Uh, I can I can just click over here and see that parameter, and then I can see which cell that's referring to. Now another nice thing about um, about these functions is that um, this little payment PMT I can click on that, oops, and I will see um, help Excel help for that formula or function. Okay, so the payment function one of the financial functions calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and the constant interest rate. So I can just go through here. What does this all mean? I've just described it and um, notice that they just describe the, you know, divide by 12, etc. Uh, portion of this. Um, and, uh, um, and, and it provides some examples for you to work with and you can actually copy and paste those examples into Excel and work with them there to view how they looked, okay? Was this information helpful? Always a good idea to put that, and you can enter a comment if you want, click send, and then once you're finished, you just close. All right. I want to just add one more component to this formula. I'm gonna zoom in here, and um, over here, I want to, instead of 12, I want to put, um, see what the difference would be if, if I did a 13-month year, so in every four weeks, in other words, I was making a payment instead of once a month. So I'm going to just insert a row here, so insert, and I'm going to um, period breakdown. And I'm just going to put 12 here just to 
to so we can work with this. I'm going to change that 12 to that reference and that 12 to this reference as well. Okay, So they're referring to the same cell. And now I have references for all of these. Now this is a, this is a good way to work in, in, uh, in Excel with functions is that you're referencing cells rather than putting in real numbers. So, um, and it's going to just work out the same. Now if I want to make a payment every four weeks instead, I'll be making a payment of 147.75. Okay. And just uh, so you can see the difference beginning or end, that's the beginning. This is the end. It's 148.88. And beginning was 147.75, so um, paying a little bit more than a dollar for that uh, five thousand dollar per month <laughs> for that loan. Okay, so um, it's it's a small difference, but um, you know I, I don't know if you want to go t through the trouble of of making your payment, changing your loan, so that they can make payments at the beginning instead of the end of the month. Anyways, um, that's um, uh, that's functions. Um, the other way to insert a function is just to click on the insert function um, button right here or insert function here. It's very similar um, to what we just did. If we wanted to see this function arguments uh, dialog box again. Okay. Or if I'm creating a new function, I can actually look for the function um, here. If I click on that, um, the other dialog box opened when I had a function in that, that cell. Now this is opening because I don't have a function. I'm going to say payment for a loan is what I'm looking for. And it's, uh, it gives me payment as the um, recommended option. Um, gives me a description of what that function does click OK, and here I'm back at the function arguments. Okay. And the rate is 10 divided by period breakdown. Number of periods is 3 times period breakdown. Our present value is 5,000. Future value is 0 type is 1 and press OK and there's my result. Cheers guys, uh, hope that was helpful and if you need any, um, if you have any questions just put your comments below on the video and I'll um, attempt to answer them as soon as I can. Cheers.